Good morning and welcome to the Lower Lodge Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Won't you sit down for a few minutes with me while I discuss a very important directive from God's Word and I think it'll be a help to you perhaps. I know uh, there's one area of our life where discouragement sometimes seems to overtake us. We get discouraged maybe about a good many things, but I think one thing that we get discouraged about perhaps more quickly or easily than anything else is when we pray and nothing happens. Now we all spend time in prayer, I'm sure, and we've all got our request and our supplication, and the Bible invites us to let our request and our supplication be made known unto the Lord. The Bible tells us to come boldly to the throne of grace. We might find the grace to help in our time of need. Jesus said, when you pray, not if you pray. And so there's all kinds of encouragement as well as exhortation in God's word to pray. And yet we do become discouraged sometimes when we don't have the answers that we're really seeking I read in Colossians just this morning, Paul wrote to the church at Colossae, he said, continue instant in prayer. In other words, don't become weary and pray. Uh, pray and expect God to give the answer. And don't forget to give thanks when he does, he went on to add in that uh, verse in Colossians there. So continue in prayer, expect some answers, and uh, thank God when the answer comes. That's the gist of that, that verse. I don't even remember what chapter and verse it is. I just know it's there in Colossians somewhere. You can look it up yourself if you don't believe me. But anyway, I think about, as I said, I think a lot of times we pray and we don't see the answers when we want them or how we want them. And so we get a little bit discouraged and the devil kind of comes around my dad used to say the devil kind of jumps up on her shoulder and talks into her ear. And it might be the devil's on your shoulder now, whispering in your ear. Your prayers are doing no good. You're just wasting your time. Well, don't listen to the devil. The devil is a liar, Jesus said. And he's even the father of all lies. So don't listen to Satan. Just believe God. Take him at his word and continue in prayer. I'm thinking about how it's been uh, nearly 17 years ago. I was lying on my bed in Stockton, Missouri, where I was pastoring at the time. Uh, we had just gone to Stockton to take the church there. And I was lying there on my bed, and I had a heavy heart for uh, a, a couple of unsaved guys. Uh, those unsaved guys happened to be very close family members. So naturally, my heart would be very heavy, and I'd have a grave concern over their salvation. And I thought, I'm not going to let the devil take my kids. And so I began to pray and ask God what I could do. And it seemed like he laid it upon my heart to get a prayer group going. And we call that prayer group Parents Reclaiming a Youngster. Just call it Pray. And uh, I do believe that prayer really works. Now, no, it's been 16th or 16th year. And uh, we haven't seen the answers that we seek yet, but I'm going to keep at it. We're going to keep going. In fact, is tomorrow evening, the first and third Thursday of every month, we gather in our living room and uh, several of us that have prodigal children, and we pray that God would help us to pray our children into the kingdom. And so, yes, there are times I get a little bit discouraged and there had been times it seemed like the more I prayed, the worse it became, but I still believe that we're going to continue in prayer, and we're going to expect God for the answer, and when that answer comes, believe me, there'll be a hallelujah party thanking God for answered prayer. Don't get discouraged when your prayers aren't answered in your time. Scripture says, in His time, He makes all things beautiful. Heavenly Father, don't let us become weary in prayer. Keep us encouraged, O oh Lord, and keep us believing God for the answers. Bless us throughout this day and have your way. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.